one two three. Then in page number twenty five, in the introduction, Dr. Kumar has mentioned the document could not reach India, but was handed over to his elder brother, Sarath Chandra Bose, in nineteen forty eight, by Kuroni at Paris. At Paris, forty eight. Sarath Chandra Bose went to Europe for his health recovery and visited many European countries. And naturally, he met many of the old friends of Subhash Chandra. And about Koroni, I'll give you some interesting points. Very important. This Koroni, let me let me then you'll add. This Koroni was that very man. He was in the mid thirties. He was in Calcutta. Oh. He was sent by Italian government. To be acquainted with Shubhas Chandra in 1930s, late 30s, in Calcutta. This is this question. Again, in 41 January, when Shubhas Chandra is leaving this in disguise through Afghanistan, in Afghanistan, Kuroni is in the Italian embassy in a vital post, very vital post. This is the question. In 1948, is present in Italian embassy in Moscow, and when the whole of the English British intelligence is searching Bose all over the world, and this very Koyrani is there in Moscow, to whom USA is sending a big man, a big media persons that. Fisher. Louis Fisher. Louis Fisher. Louis Fisher was a big media person, journalist, disciple of Gandhi, and very close to Washington White House. Very mighty, very influential. Actually, the man was moving all over the country, all over the world, as an unnamed or undeclared ambassador of Washington. Not only that, actually spying in everywhere. He's spying in everywhere. Because he's very keen. To very keen. Post, Where is Bose? And this, uh, yes, I have quoted in the book that uh, Dada Bai Naroji's granddaughter, yes, Louis Fisher, in 1946, yes, that if yes. Bose comes with the, uh, you know, Russia support, yes, he and Congress will yes. not be able to yeah, stop yeah, him. Yes, yes, that that is very important. I I will I disclose you how we discovered that later. A very interesting chapter. And that that very Koyrani is in Italian embassy in Moscow. And this Louis Fisher is going to Louis uh, uh, Koyrani in search of whereabouts of Bose, Bose. and that note of Louis Fisher is declassified. That note of of Koyrani on Louis Fisher, why he has come here and what is asking their discussion. I have given in a second volume, Netaji Shubhas Chandra. Okay, that very vital. Okay, and there. Very important information is there. In forty-three, when Germany and Italy was testing in which way Bose will be sent to Southeast Asia, either by the submarine route or by plane yeah, or by yeah. land route. Twice, three, yes, three ways were being opened up, all being tested. Even from Italy, Mussolini sent fourteen trials of air air, air flights. To test from Rome to Rangoon, because Rangoon at that time under British and under under Japan, 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 and that was test. Also, that airway was opened up, the landway was opened up through independent country of Switzerland. That document I have published. That document also submarine route, submarine route. That quite only. That is quite only very vital, very vital, very and vital. And you see, this letter has a very Very important aspect. If you go through this letter, I have given this letter yes, in the yes, uh, yes. you know appendix of the book. Yes, it looks like a military general is planning the whole thing. Yes, because the immediate issue at that time was to seek the help of Russia and attack India, the British in India, from Afghanistan and northwest of Pakistan side. So Bush has listed a variety of ways in that letter, uh, dealing from. Where to, uh, to find places where small planes can land? Where we can set up our wireless stations with the Jirgas, these tribal chiefs, their meetings, how to be done and all. And in this thing, there is a very crucial, most crucial thing I consider is 
when Bose is saying that the new army which the British are recruiting for the Second World War, in this army we should send our trusted youth who can work for us and when the time comes they can cross over to the island. That, that is the planning before the starting of the yeah, World War? Yeah. No, no. This is the planning of 1941. That, that, yeah, the, it's oh, in during in Afghanistan. When the already... That is in Afghanistan. Yes. Okay. Now, a very interesting thing happened. That when I quoted this letter, a member of the Bose family came out very heavily on me. Saying that you fake documents and no such letter was handed over to Coroni in Paris. I was with my mother at that time in Paris with him and all that stuff and all. So I said, look, I am a historian and unless I have evidence and I have cross-checked the evidence, I won't say things. And then when I produced that letter, and the interesting part is that that letter has been published in itself in the volumes of Sisir Gupta and Sohagat Gupta. And this uh, family member didn't have the uh, thing to read them out, you know. And once I put that, they became silent. Because the importance of this letter becomes is, uh, is because Bose and Savarkar had met in 1940, which is very clear to us. Yes, in 40. Now, what talk goes on between the revolutionaries, no one knows. Yes. They don't be written records. It revolution. need not be disclosed, should not be disclosed. Now, Savarkar was a recruiting person for the British. Yes. And uh, link is going on with Raj Bihari in Tokyo. Link is going on with Raj Bihari because now that the M yes. organization is out secret organization yes. entire from 1939 and onwards. So the link is with there, the link is with Khaksars. Uh, and the revolution in the form of in the form of traders they are the, going uh, in the, between and Japan the, and India. And the Gadar party. Gadar party. Gadar yes. party. Yeah. Mind it that the Gadar party was the first which keeping taking into account the 1857 experience where the soldiers working in the... They Asia internationalized our, our, our revolution. Revolted. Revolted against them. So they were the first to again try a revolution in this country with the use of Indian soldiers in the British Army. Yes. Uh, the Lahore conspiracy case is a part of that. And that is why Raj Bihari left. And that uh, 1915 uh, uprising in Singapore, where the Singapore was taken over by the Indian soldiers for four days. And I think hundreds were shot after that by the British who were there. So this attempt was being again made at that time. And this was the planning at that time between Savarkar and these people. And Savarkar was in touch with Raj Bihari Bose. We all know that aspect. Yes. So this is something very crucial. And then this got substantiated when I discovered three letters uh, in the INA Relief Committee, 1945 file where these soldiers are claiming that they had joined the British Indian Army on uh, at the behest of uh, advocate Barrister Savarkar and when the opportunity came, as per his instructions, they crossed over to the island. Now some people politically got very upset by these findings of mine and started accusing me. So let them accuse, but I have the historical data with me to the, prove this point. Then just a few sentences. The, the the very important side of this letter to Louis Fisher from the ashram of Mohandas Gandhi. From Mohandas Gandhi letter going to the Louis Fisher. They are the few lines you have mentioned, also mentioned in this volume. That letter, you have mentioned my name also, <laughs> they have got it from me. That actually in 90s, 91, 92, Shomar went to, Shom, Professor Shomar Guho went to USA, okay. to his relative's house. There, he came across his old friend who was a chemistry professor in the University of Princeton who came across this letter in the archives when unpublished. Otherwise, he took the, otherwise this fact would have remained unknown. This, 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 he took the photographs and he, he handed over to Shamurda mm -hmm. and we use this, this, this letter in our Supreme Court and High Court cases. See, and Government of India never objected to that. Sir, this letter reflects another thing. That what was the hurry for the Congress yes. to accept Dominion status, status instead of independence on 15th August 19th. And the line, it both comes. And why rush out? Why rush out? Huh. And the work I am doing now for my second book, you see, I am going now to link the 
various you know evidences I have and prove that Bose had given a second plan. He had said that if we fail, the struggle must continue and you go and support Gandhi. But the way the IMA people started reorganizing in India and what was happening in India disturbed the Congress again very much and they rushed for a dominion status with the fear that Bose might come back. If Bose comes, everything will go out of our hands. Before Bose comes, we have to settle the situation. That is the, that is the plan of Gandhi and also of British. You see, sometimes people ask this question, Bose did, why did Bose come? Now, something which I don't know, I can't answer, but I can only say one thing because I don't go on hypothesis. Yes. But I say that entire dream of Bose fell down when the British left giving a dominion status. Yes. When a new and, Pakistan is and created. The, and the country was partitioned. Partition. Uh, most ever wanted partition. A partition. So now even if he comes with an organized INA, a communal will fight? He will fight back his own government of Indians. A, a communal feeling so says... to be considered in this matter, you see. Because some foolish brains in this country because don't the, understand because they don't understand what most stood for. Because nationalism had been stabbed, wounded. And communism have been encouraged in the subcontinent. And, both won't come and people of this country, either of the Pakistan or of India, they thought they had got independence. But tragically, they got not the independence, but the dominion. It's a dominion. The king only abdicates the throne of India on 22nd June 1948, when Raj Gopalachari is appointed as next vice, uh, second governor general. Nehru writes as the Prime Minister of your Indian Dominion on behalf of the Cabinet of Indian Dominion seeks King's approval. Why should King's approval be taken then if it is independence at that time? And the whole rush rush, hush hush business proves this point. That there is a, and I think in a separate lecture we will discuss that also. What Ockhead Lake is doing. Why they were so hurry, so why fast. Why they are in so much hurry, hurry. in this regard. But the major factor behind this is Bose and his INA. And also, I will show you the document INA file, CSDIC British files, where it is written that in 1946, Bose is arranging another INA in Moscow in the, in, as so before. Definitely. Even in the interrogation reports, I yes, will show you that this person, Major, saying mm. okay, we had received Bose written orders yes. that proceed to Russia. Yes. And mind it one more thing. See, the Indian Legion was clearly told that they don't have to fight the Russians along with the Nazi forces. And they never fought. And many of the Indian Legion people, the Indian Nazi forces there in Europe, they went to Russia. And also in this letter from the Gandhi's ashram to Louis Fisher, you will mention they are fearing ghost from Russia. Also, you will see if you go to the pages of the transfer of power, volume 12, that big volume. They are, British is warning Pakistan to be ready for any invasion from the north, northwest from Russia. They are all a warning, giving warning to Pakistan. Totally are preparing, totally preparing Pakistan army to counter the invasion from the USSR. It's up to 1948. These yes, yes. Are coming into that.